My name is Dr. Bill Loudon. I'm a pediatric neurosurgeon at Children's Hospital of Orange County. Today I'm going to discuss pediatric brain tumors. There are symptoms that are very common to brain tumors. These include things like headaches, nausea and vomiting, decreased balance, so frequent falls, and generally just child is sleepier, they have less activity. Brain tumors in children are very different than those in adults. They cover a whole spectrum. Some of them are very benign developmental problems, others are very malignant, aggressive tumors. There are many different kinds of treatments for brain tumors. Chemotherapy, radiation, surgery, or other even more novel treatments. There are things like immunotherapies where the child's own immune system is used to fight the tumor. There are treatments such as focused beam radiation or stereotactic radiosurgery which spares the normal brain and only treats the tumor. Treatment for brain tumors are very different in children than in adults. For example, in surgery, there is a real interest in performing the least invasive surgery possible. So a number of minimally invasive procedures have been developed for children. These are usually assisted by very high-tech, sort of GPS kind of imaging systems that allow us to target the tumor directly. So we're able to make much smaller incisions. We're often able to use tools such as endoscopes, which are like little mini telescopes that allow us to enter the skull through very small holes and go to the tumor and remove it, again, through very, very small incisions. This not only increases the safety of the surgery and minimizes the risks of injuring brain, but also speeds recovery and minimizes the overall discomfort of the child and hopefully even shortens the hospital stay. Unfortunately, it's becoming more and more recognized that the children who receive full treatments for the malignant brain tumors are at significantly increased risk of having problems after the treatment. Right now in America, there are over 400,000 pediatric cancer survivors. Of these, unfortunately, many of them will go on to have other problems. Many of them will go on to have chronic diseases. For example, they are 15 times as likely as their age-matched peers to have problems with heart disease, 13 times as common with diabetes, 10 times as likely to have problems with strokes. So put simply, a long-term pediatric cancer survivor who was treated successfully for a malignant tumor, by the time they're 45 years of age, almost 80% of them will have some type of significant chronic illness. And so now we're becoming very committed to following these children very carefully. And hopefully we can go beyond that. Now that we recognize these problems and we have the tools such as being able to actually look at these children's genetic background, we hope that we can predict, mitigate, or maybe even avoid the development of some of these horrible chronic illnesses down the road and allow the children to actually grow up and become normal adults.